In this video, we will try to solve another question that was asked in Gate Economics paper of 2022. The question is related to identification problem. The question is like this. Suppose an investigator has specified following simultaneous equation model. We have this simultaneous equation model where y1 t is equal to alpha 1 naught plus alpha 1 2 y2 t plus a 2 mt plus a3 kt plus ut. This is our equation first and second equation is y2 t is equal to alpha 2 naught uh, plus alpha 2 1 y 1 t plus alpha 3 i t plus v t okay where y 1 t y 2 t are the endogenous variables and m t k t and i t are the predetermined variables that are the independent variables here or exogenous variables u t and v t this u t and v t are the residual terms based on the order condition of identification so Based on the order condi uh, condition for identification, which one of the following statements are correct? We have to see actually uh, which of these equations are either exactly identified, our identified or under identified. Okay, so for that we use the order condition. Order condition is simple. So order condition tells us, let me write it here first. Order condition tells us, let us say we write K k minus m if k minus m is less than g minus 1 okay in that case we say the particular equation is uh, what we call unidentified unidentified okay but what are these k's m's and g's simply this k denotes this k denotes the total number of variables whether they are endogenous or predetermined variables in our entire model okay so k denotes the total number of variables in our model so how many variables we have in this model let us see so we have one this is also our uh, this is first variable second variable third variable fourth variable and fifth variable because we have y1 t y2 t are the endogenous endogenous variables mt kt and it are the exogenous variables so we have one two three four five therefore we have total five variables in our entire model this a a1 naught is not uh, an endogenous or exogenous variable these are the constant terms similarly ut and vt are the residual terms they are not uh, uh, either the endogenous or exogenous variables okay so total number of endogenous variables is one two exogenous variables are one two three so total number of uh, variables in our model are five so the value of k is five so we have five minus m denotes the number of variables in a particular equation okay if we take this first equation let us see how many variables are there we have one variable two three four we have four variables that means m is equal to four okay and this g denotes the total number of equations in our model we have only one equation and two equations okay so we have two here minus one okay so here we can see five minus four is one and two minus one is one here we have k minus m is equal to g minus one if this is the case okay our case uh, this time would be like this our k minus m is equal to g minus one if this is the case we say that the particular equation is exactly exactly identified okay that means our first equation is exactly identified okay now so if k minus m is less than g minus 1 we have unidentified problem okay now talking to mm, second equation let us say whether the second equation is identified or unidentified for that using same procedure k is total number of variables we have for you so let us use another k minus m and let us see what is g minus 
one in the second equation so k total number of variables whether they are endogenous or exogenous or total five okay minus m now we need to find out the m that means the number of variables in this equation okay in the particular equation so we have one variable two variable three variables okay so in the second equation we have one two three variables okay so the value of m will be three and g as we have uh, seen total number of equations denotes the g so we have two minus one here we can see five minus three is two and two minus one is one here we can see two is greater than one and k minus m is greater than g minus one that means if this is the case we say the particular equation is our identified okay our our identified so equation second is our identified and equation first this very uh, stuff here is exactly identified so whether let us see the options equation one and two are exactly identified no this is not the case okay equation one is exactly identified yes we have k minus m is equal to g minus one this part is correct and equation two is our identified yes equation two is our identified so this option should be correct okay so simple thing what you need to uh, do in the order condition um, and if we want to see whether a particular equation is identified or unidentified what we need to do first we need to see total number of variables in our model okay so let us say we are trying to find out whether first equation is uh, identified or not identified for that we need to find out the total variables in our model whether they are endogenous or exogenous so we have one two three four and five okay we will not count this y1 t because we have uh, already calculated this so total number of equations sorry total number of variables is five after that we need to find out the number of variables in a particular equation so in the first equation we have one two three and four variables okay and we also want to find out what is the value of g what are uh, how many equations we have one two we have two equations okay then we use uh, this very condition that is uh, that is m minus m minus m and g minus one okay so m minus m minus five minus two g minus m minus two sorry g minus one minus two minus one here we can see five minus two is three this is sorry uh, our m is four i have made a mistake here so five minus four uh, we have five minus four Mm, let me write here m so 5 minus 4 is 1 g minus 1 is 2 minus 1 which is also 1 here we can see m minus m is equal to g minus 1 we say the equation first is identified exactly identified okay so simple stuff if k minus m is less than g minus uh, g minus 1 actually i should have written here k okay so if k minus m is less than g minus 1 we say the equation the particular equation is unidentified if k minus m is greater than g minus 1 we say the particular equation is our identified if k minus m is equal to g minus 1 in this case we say the particular equation is exactly identified okay so this is it thank you